Well, hey, we are, are live with Marjean. Welcome to you, whoever is joining us. A big hello from the U.S., but also from Athens, Greece. We are connected, <laughs> no matter how far we are. So welcome, Marjean. Um, it's really a Thank joy you. to have you here with me today. Marjean has been my personal mentor trainer i met her in her event coaching me over the years and um you cannot imagine how delighted i am to have her here with me marjean is a transformational trainer and also may i say um she is a hollywood actor uh, she is an author speaker on international stages and lead healer in amazing retreats and we are already planning a few things for next year and I'm so proud to be able to welcome her here with me today on one of my first lives as a host so welcome yeah. Marjean. Thank you what a beautiful introduction Christina thank you so much hi everybody I'm really really excited to be here to share what I know about speaking and then answer any questions or anything else. So just want to say hi to everybody who's tuning in. There's Sophie Ann. Hello. How are you? Beautiful. Awesome. So I'll give you a little bit of a, of a background of how I met Marjean. Actually, we met in exotic Singapore when I was attending an event, which I was not supposed to be there. But I, my heart already knew that I had to be there. And um, she knows the story behind how it happened. I managed to manipulate the whole system somehow. It wasn't planned. Um, and I ended up in one of her courses and that's how we met and she changed my life. And after that, I attended three more personal development events with Marjean and I have crewed for her, meaning I have volunteered to support her as part of her staff and crew team uh, around the world, uh, namely Malaysia and Spain. And I want to basically ask um, Marjean, as we met in the personal development space, um, how did you get into the personal development space? Well, let's see. It goes back to 1989. Um, I was living in Los Angeles. Um, hive to everybody who's just joined us here on the stream. And um, don't ask me why. Like, I'm going to segue real quick. There's a post that says that, that my Facebook page has paired like a, an old campaign from somebody. I'm like, I don't know how to unpair it. So just bear with me on that one. So yes, great to see you again too. Thank you, Christina. Um, so I got into, like I was always interested in making myself the best me I could be ever since I was really young. And I always knew that there were energies at play. I always knew there was something different. There was something more than what I could see. I knew there was another realm of, of, you know, per se magic or um, how to pursue your goals, how to actually, you know, get there and uh, set out a plan per se, right? And I always wanted to have that internal mechanism within myself to be the best me I could be. I was going into the film industry, so I needed to have something besides the film industry to ground me. So I decided that personal development was, was going to be it. And I got introduced to Warner Earhart's Landmark Forum. It was huge in LA back in the 80s, right? Mm -hmm. 80s and 90s. So wow. for me, mm. yeah. So 1989 was my first introduction to a structured personal development course, as opposed to just reading a book on you know, uh, spiritual economics or something like that, like Eric Butterworth, or some of my favorite books are Florence Scovel Shin books, which was the game of life and how to play it. And then all of these other books that she wrote, they were just little, you know, hundred page books, super powerful. Right. Mm. So that's how I got in. And from there I thought, Oh, if I can just cut through my own stuff, if I can cut through, um, my old programming, how I operate, and just really take a good hard look at myself that I was going to be a better me in the film industry. I was going to be able to stay grounded. Now, now, mind you, there were parts where, the, you know, times when 
I fell down and had, you know, low self-esteem or my confidence wasn't there. Those are things I had to work on constantly because in the film industry, the, the most heard word that an actor hears is no. So I had to have something to help keep myself going when I kept hearing no, because you hear no so many times. So personal development was, was, was how I, you know, kind of stayed sane. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know if this, the stream kind of froze. I don't know if anyone can hear me. Can you hear me? Pop something in yeah. there. There we go. I apologize. Ah, we're back. Mm. We're back. Oh. Thank you. So absolutely. And I think that reminds me a little bit of my journey. When I started in business, then I realized I need to really, um, you know, put the fifth gear on my personal development, because if I was going to survive here, then I needed to to be able to step up. And I think mm -hmm. that's um, a beautiful wow. way to, to go into how I've seen you. I only know you for seven years, which seems like a lifetime to me in the last uh, few years of, of my life as a <laughs> as a businesswoman right. as well. But, um, you know, I've seen some majestic transformations and reinventions from your side and you know you have been working in different industries I mean you know from acting to writing to being a speaker to being a trainer to being a healer so would you like to focus on one that still resonates with you and tell us how you navigated it and how do you bring that wisdom now in this stage of your life here with us today so I think um being that Hi, George. Thanks for joining us. Um, when I stepped onto stage, I had a moment where, you know, it's very different being on screen. You know, I've co-starred, guest starred, or um, starred in over 40 different films, television shows, and commercials in my career and worked with some of the biggest stars in Hollywood. I worked with Sylvester Stallone. I worked with... Um, you know, Will Smith, I worked with uh, Bruce Willis. So when you go from being on camera where you're used to having a script handed to you and you learn your lines and you perform a, with another actor or sometimes you're just doing a monologue by yourself, but there's the fourth wall, which is the camera and the audience is behind that wall. So when I moved from being in front of the camera to being on stage, it was a very different transition for me because it was like I had to learn a whole new set of skills, a whole new dynamic. Because just because somebody's an actor doesn't mean they're very comfortable on stage. So I don't know. Can you guys still see me? <laughs> I don't know if we're still if we're still streaming, if I'm still streaming without Christina. So anyone out there? Oh, she's got connection issues. We'll get it going on here. All right, so if anyone can still, can you still hear me? Yes. Oh, okay, I'm streaming without her. So I'll keep talking until she comes back in. Um, it's very different, like I said. It's very, very different moving from being in front of the camera where you're not interacting with the audience like I'm on interacting now, right? It becomes a point where you have to learn how to interact with people in the moment, right now, and be comfortable with that. And when I first started on stage, I didn't have a whole lot of guidance. I didn't have, um, I had people that I could watch. I had people that I was consistently working with who were trainers. My mentor, I was his assistant to help set up the stage, but I hadn't been on stage yet. 
and my first experience of being on stage. And now that I look back, I've trained all over the world. I've trained different audiences. I've trained different. Um, thank you. Thank you so much um, for letting me know I'm still still loud and clear. <laughs> so when I started working with different cultures, I realized there are some cultures, some audiences that are going to be a little bit different than others. You have to learn how their culture operates. What are what's acceptable? What words are used? You know, what do they find funny? Uh, what do they find offensive? Right? And really look at that. Okay. So when I first started on stage, this is how my first experience went. I was working at an event, and I was the hi, Christina. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, telling, I'm, I'm telling about my very first first experience on stage. So I was working at this event and I was on the crew. So I wasn't on, on stage, on the stage crew. I was on the crew and I was setting the stage and we didn't have back then, we didn't have assistant trainers. We didn't have a warm up person. It was just kind of like anyone and everybody, right? And I had never done that before. Nobody had any guidance. And they said, oh, you're going to do some of the warm ups." And I was like, what do you mean I'm doing the warm ups? How, how, what am I supposed to do? And they're like, oh, just get on there and do it. And I said, you know, I'm not quite sure I want to do this because I am what I consider to be one of the toughest audiences I have ever worked with. Mm -hmm. It was in New York. So, New York is a culture all unto itself. So, mm -hmm. I thought, oh my gosh how am I going to actually break this barrier? Mm -hmm. And right before I went on stage, the trainer said to me, are you okay? Are you nervous? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> I said, but, but at that time they gave us little tools and tricks. And he's, but I raised my right hand because we used to always do this when somebody was nervous. You raise your right hand, you pat yourself on the back and say, and that's okay because I'm growing. So everybody, remember, if you get to a point where sometime you might be nervous or you might be scared about something, that's just an internal indication that you are growing. So pat yourself on the back and say, that's okay, I'm growing. Give yourself some accolades for, ah, I'm growing, I'm growing. And from that moment on, I knew that I was going to find a home on stage, on mm. that kind of stage. Because I had always wanted to be on the acting stage, but I wanted to use my acting to influence people in a positive way. I wanted to be able to transform people's lives, even though I didn't know it back then. I wanted to make a difference. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the simplest term that I can use is I wanted to make a difference. And I found with all of my acting work, all of my stunt work, you know, I did a television series where I played a mercenary and I was running around in the jungle, kicking bad guys' asses. Oops, can you say that on live stream? Um, yes. And, it, and, and, you know, I would get mail, I'd get fan mail from people saying, oh my God, I love your outfit. It wasn't really the transformation I was looking for. So when I found personal development and found this stage, I was like, this is it. Live energy, get people in a room, help them move them through whatever is blocking them from the thing that they say they want. Yeah. And it's that connection, isn't it? Because when it's okay being on a, on a movie and being on a recorded format and entering people's lives and making a change and, you know, having a nice outfit can transform people's mm -hmm. lives. But, you know, I think when I met Marjean on stage, I knew she was talking to me. There is, um, a resonance that really can work and connect in your heart and this is what made a difference and the fact that you know she would actually hug everybody she would actually take pictures with people she would actually know what to say when we were raising our hand to ask a question I think that's what makes a difference and that's what people remember and that's what I remember and that's why mm -hmm. I keep I kept coming back to you. So thank you for um, working through uh, the interruptions with me. See, I am nervous. I, mean, I was doing the live stream first time and with a dodgy network from, from Greece. Um, you can perhaps hear this. <laughs> but thank you for your patience. And uh, thank you, Margie, for carrying on answering the question while I was trying to figure out how to connect back. 
<laughs> um, so absolutely. And the reason why I've got Marjean here today is because, you know, as we said um, personally, and I, and I decided to open up and say I'm nervous, when I contacted her, I was just back from Bosnia, and I said to her, look, my voice is blocked, and I'm concerned, because it's not just my physical voice that I was coughing like crazy, I couldn't speak, but I think it's my artistic voice that needs expression, and funnily enough, she said, Christina, I just launched a program which is about speaking, and it's about your voice, so we started chatting, and then before we knew it, we, we said, let's do a live together, um, but, you know, I I've seen Marjean command stages internationally with so much gravitas and what she was saying a moment ago, we didn't even plan it, the grounding effect that she had on people. It wasn't the person who's like, I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm going to teach you what you don't know. There wasn't an ego like that. It was that safe place she was creating. We were hundreds of people and we didn't know each other. And the last thing we wanted is to wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning and be there without any coffee and so on. <laughs> anyway, that, that's these are deep. But nevertheless, we, went, we didn't want to be there. <laughs> yeah. She had that impact. And I just wanted to ask you, how did you develop that power? And you can say, well, maybe it was my drama background or whatever, but I know you've done a lot of work on that. So share yeah. with us a little bit about how did you come to that stage of being a nervous person in front of a live audience to actually commanding it with so much grace? So I still get nervous when I go on stage. And I found that if I find a routine, I mean, and, and obviously, the more you do something, the more masterful you become. You know, I have over 12,000 over 15,000 hours on stage in front of audiences. So mm -hmm. when you practice, when you get up, when you do the thing that you desire to do, mm -hmm. Each time you learn something, and I had to learn that very early on because I was leading um, the same course over and over and over again, right? Mm -hmm. And what? And the first time I led that course, I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is amazing!" And my audience was amazing. My my students were amazing. My crew was amazing. Everything was amazing. And I thought, "This is how it's going to be every single time," mm -hmm. and that wasn't the truth. You know, there were some groups that had a different dynamic. So mm -hmm. I really had to start learning how to listen, mm -hmm. learning how to tune into what am I feeling right now in this moment, learning how to super connect with um, whoever I'm talking with. And now I've gotten to the point because I've been training in uh, the healing arts, I don't have to be in the same room to connect with somebody energetically. Mm -hmm. I can talk to them on the phone. I can Zoom with them. I don't have to be physically in their presence in order to tune in and tap into their field mm -hmm. with permission, of course. But I had to practice. I had to get up and I had to do it over and over and over again. And utilizing my background in the film industry. See, a lot of people don't come from the film industry to go on the stage. Some of the some actors will get up and do, you know, speaking engagements and things like that. But I wanted to take it to that place where I was actually teaching people, not just speaking to people, but teaching, teaching them something valuable that they could take into their lives. So when I first started on stage, one of the greatest pieces of advice I ever got was from my audio engineer, my mm -hmm. audio tech, because there were points in time where I had to tell stories and I would tell the stories. And he said to me, you know, Marjane, you're an actress. Like, you can really embellish those stories and act those stories. And it's not going to sound weird or it's not going to be strange because you're trained to do that. Mm -hmm. You're trained as an actor. And that just blew my whole world apart. It just blew my whole world apart. So I thought, oh, okay. So I can utilize where I've come from to channel into that energy into making a point on stage mm -hmm. to giving people another perspective, mm -hmm. right? 
So um, hopefully that answers the question. But a lot of it is practice and a lot of it is listening. Like, are you listening to who you're speaking to? And this goes even farther than just being a speaker or a trainer or a presenter. This is something and a skill and a, that can be utilized in every area. Yeah. Because I don't even care if you're a speaker or a trainer. You might just be the manager of a staff. Do you really listen? Mm. Do you hear them? And right? it's so counterintuitive. And I, I am in this industry in the last few years because of the work that I do. And no one really ever told me before that as a speaker, you need to listen to your audience because uh -huh. technically, I mean, think about it, right? You're, you're there to present, you're there to say something, you're there to show your knowledge and you're there to teach, but actually not only listen, you mentioned something really important about acting out your stories. It's about the presence. People see who you are. And anyway, I'm fascinated, guys. And um, that's a beautiful segue um, to, yeah. to share with you that um, Marjean is launching um, her super speakers program. And I know yeah. that, you know, she's super excited about it. And we talked about that, but I wanted to invite Marjean to share with us what inspired you to actually do this now. And what will someone get out of this program that you have prepared? Um, yeah. And you can really see the floating um, uh, bubble somewhere uh, on the um, channels that we are sharing. So if you can't see it, then we will share absolutely the link later, but you can go to my profile yeah. as well to find out there. And Marjean, sorry, started yeah. chatting. No, 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 that's okay. <laughs> you know, during um, the last few years of world craziness, you know, I really, and some of you may be able to relate to this, a lot of us went into spaces where we had to go internal and really, really sit with what's happening inside for me. And when I went in and I started digging through all those deep, dark places, right, there was, I just, I wasn't out there. I wasn't speaking. I wasn't talking. I wasn't teaching. And I was digging out kind of my own, um, my own stuff, my own darkness, my own blocks in order to get to a place where I'm like, where do I really want to be? Where do I want to focus my energy? What do I really want to contribute? And during this whole last few years, I've found that people are really like, they have a lot to say. They want to speak. And I decided to take a course for myself um, through my master theta, theta healer called Unveil Your Voice. And within that course, I thought, oh my gosh, this is something that, A, I know up, down, right, left, side, front, backwards, everything. I know speaking. I know training. I know the presence it takes to be on the stage. And that was one of the things people used to always ask me is, how do you do that? <laughs> how, do you, how do you do what you do? And I'm like, I practice it, first of all. And like I said, I listen. And when you can stand on stage and just be quiet and pull your energy from inside out to be able to have people stop because it's not always the loudest voice that's gonna be the most powerful. And I learned that over time, mm. screaming and screaming to get people to be quiet, then I would just, I'd just stop mm. and just be quiet and get grounded, mm. get centered, pull the energy that I have in, project it out, mm. and stop, basically stop time. Wow. So when I went through unveiling my voice, I thought, what is it that I can teach mm. that I've mastered? And being on stage and speaking in the trainer capacity is it right? That's it. So I thought, what are some of the pitfalls that people fall into when they want to get their voice out? Yeah. A, they don't know where to start. B, they might have material, but they don't know how to comprehensively put it together. Mm -hmm. C, they may not know how to put all of that together to weave it in to get the emotional points of where you're going to come at somebody and say, here's the information, but oh, wait, let me tell you a story huh. 
about when I went through this moment in time mm-hmm. where I was battling somebody else's programming. Mm. I was moving through somebody else's stuff and I had to go, wait a minute, mm. wait a minute. And being a hard hand, especially in the groups that we've been in, right? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of ego that can come out. And mm-hmm. when people want to share, they want to have the mic, they want their moment in time. Mm-hmm. But when you're the trainer and it's, it's your space, it's like, wait a minute, I've got 300 other people here and you don't get to monopolize their time. Yeah. So how do you stop someone in their tracks but then turn it around and empower them. Yeah. To say, look, hey. Master you, that one, right? difficult one. <laughs> so it's like, those are the things that I want to teach people. Yeah. Give you templates. This is the template. Here, fill in the blanks. And yeah. now we're going to extract what's important to you mm-hmm. to be able to find what's important to you, what your particular gifts are, and how are you going to translate those gifts out into the world? And like I said, even if you don't want to do your own trainings, even if you don't want to do your do mm-hmm. be speaking, where do you want to be in your communication? Where do you want to master your presence? So that even if you walk into a room, people go, wait, who's that? Who's this person? Who just walked into the room? Mm-hmm. Because developing that develops a certain level of confidence. Mm-hmm. Not ego, but confidence and embodiment of this is what I know. And mm-hmm. I know what I know. Mm-hmm. And now I'm going to let others know what I know. Yeah. Right? And make it come from a place of love as well, because this is mm-hmm. what you give to people and I've seen you command international stages where cultures are different as well so Marjean has been teaching in Spain as well as I've seen her in Singapore as I said obviously Mm -hmm. US and uh, Malaysia as well and the and the cultures are subtly different but you know being able to engage so many people whose language is not English as well and sometimes translation that has its own challenges but she Mm. does beautifully and um you know i want to be joining this uh, training of hers and that's how we came about with the idea of let's do a live yeah. because i want to attend your training i've seen you do this and i want to learn from you so guys if we uh if we are in the same group together that would be amazing so please do check um you know the little link that's floating around um out otherwise i'm going to share it afterwards if you cannot find it on our channel but i want to ask um Marjean, so um, you have organized the course in certain, in a certain mm-hmm. way, certain yeah. weeks, and I would like you to take us a little bit through it. Yeah. Short, but briefly, yeah. tell us how it works. Yeah, so how it's going to work is that we're going to have a jumpstart weekend. So before the course starts, we'll have two days where we're going to do a jumpstart fast track through a program called Discover Your Sacred Gifts. And that sacred gifts process is going to get you honed in on these are what my gifts are. And this is how I'm going to utilize my energy and push it out there to the world. Mm -hmm. And then for the next six weeks, we're going to take that and discover what's important to you to put out there as your voice. You might already have a book. You just need to put that book into script form to get it out there to be able to speak it. You Mm -hmm. might not have any material, but just a couple of ideas floating around. We're going to take all of that and in, in go in three different stages, stage one, stage two, and stage three, to get you down to that point at that sixth week where it's lights, action, camera, it's ready. You're going to present your signature talk, whether it's 15 minutes, whether it's 20 minutes, whether it's five minutes, because you can do a masterful, powerful speaking um, you know, product in five minutes. And captivate people. Who's ready? <laughs> you know, yeah. And we're going to teach you how, you know, how presence. And we're going to take you through some really fun exercises. And like I said, you're going to get all the templates. You're going to get all the tips, all the tricks. And then I might have a special guest or two. Also. Awesome. Also we are in for a treat, guys. And I'm attending for sure. So I would love to see your faces there. I'm going to be learning alongside you. Um, I have done some training on this, but I think Marjean, what she brings is not the typical I stand on stage. Her skills can work on online formats, but also in smaller um, gathering yeah. um, formats, but also in, of course, stage 
um, yeah. format as well. <laughs> and um, you know, attention span is getting shorter and shorter. You might uh, yeah. you might want to utilize some of that on TikTok style, um, you know, uh, delivery. So um, just get in and let's learn from each other. Um, I was going to um, be mindful of time, but um, I would yeah. love to invite the audience to share any questions they may have. Um, you know, because we can see them and uh, Margina especially, yeah. uh, unless it's Greek, you know, you can probably uh, <laughs> share it in, in English and then she can understand and answer your question. But in the meanwhile, while you're typing your questions, I was going to uh, say that if you made yourselves known in all the channels that we are broadcasting yes. now, I will find you and I will say thank you, first of all, for joining us today. I know you had probably Absolutely. better not really better, but many other things to be doing to prioritize us. So we are absolutely grateful for your time and your right. attention. Oh, absolutely great. But I will be sharing Marjean's top 10 hacks on becoming a captivating and compelling speaker. It's a freebie and it's 10 top hacks that when I saw and when she shared with me, I was like, I wish I knew that. And I wish somebody delivered it so easily for me to be able to understand and practice. So I will be sharing that with you. So make sure you get yourselves known. And we have a few questions coming yes. through. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that's that that Kickstarter campaign is like from nine months ago or from eight months ago. I was like, how is this still pinned to my page? I don't know how to get it off of there. <laughs> so no, it's on Eventbrite. So, so um, there's a different link which I will share on yeah. our chats on every channel we're broadcasting. But uh, yeah. it's called the Super Speaker Program, and it should be it should be floating somewhere. I don't know if you can see it, Marjean, but it should be floating on most of my channels at least. Um, uh, but maybe maybe after I reconnect, uh, I don't, it, there yeah, anymore. I don't see it here. So I will follow up with everyone and share the link for Eventbrite. So it's not Kickstarter; it's Eventbrite, and um, the prices start from three seven seven. Was it three nine seven? Three seven seven. Three seven seven. Yep. Yeah, so probably less in euros and less in pounds, the equivalent in terms of the number. Um, but also you've got three different types of uh, bandings, right? With yes. different packages. Three different so, options, like this, three different packages. Yeah, so check the event like right page. Through. Yeah, check the event right page. The event right page. Thank you, Joan, for that notice there. I noticed that it came up when I first started and I don't know how to take it off. So Joan, I might need, you, need your help. <laughs> Get that oh, off of there. I don't know where it's at. Why? Why does it show up everywhere? Um, but yes, you've got three different options. There she goes. There, that's my gift of administration right there. That lady right there has the gift of administration. She's like, here, I got it for you. Not a problem. Here it Thank is. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> I just shared it as well. Um, it's the super speaker program at right. page stage. So yeah. it's in the chat right now, but I will share it with everyone as well. Yeah. So there's three different levels. They can come in just as, you know, for the six weeks of the program, um, that's that 377 level. And then they go up to the 570, I think 577 level. And that includes one one-on-one -on -one coaching session. And then the 777 level includes a coaching session and six weeks of follow-up after the initial six weeks. So it's a full 12 weeks because what we're going to do in that first six weeks and then that let next six weeks after that is we're going to refine it. We're going to hone it. We're going to practice. We're going to practice. We're going to practice. We're going to practice, then get feedback, make the tweaks, and then come back and really refine it and hone it and get it down so that it's solid. So that there's no doubt in your mind that you can take a speaking engagement or put that out online or record it and have an exquisite and amazing set um, product immediately. And I would yeah. know which one to go for uh, right away. So Marjean, get ready. <laughs> so guys, please join me as well. I'm joining the same program as well. I got so excited. I wanted to share it with my you demons here. Um, we, we have shared the link, so if you cannot see it yet um, on the chats, please let me know. Um, do you have any other questions? Did we miss any questions from the chat, Marjean? I don't know. If, um, you know what? Let's see. Roll up. And there um, is a, yeah, a, there are dates already on there, but once everybody, <laughs> once everybody gets registered, we're going to go through, we'll have a meeting, I'll send out a survey to make sure that the dates actually work. Because we can alter, I can alter and change dates. You know, when you create an event, you have to obviously put a date on there. So the way in which Eventbrite kind of works 
is because it's over multiple days, it looks like you can sign up for one day and not the next, but no, you're no, taking all, all six that, weeks. It's all yeah. days. It's all six all the weeks. The that Marjean has there um, that yeah. you have to attend in order to be able to get the full curriculum of yes. the foundation um, yeah. for the speakers program. But then Marjean will add and, of course, hone in with you and you will have her full attention on the one-to-ones, um, the coaching, um, so that you can go into the depths that you want with the product. Because people will be on different maturity levels, right, as well. Some people are just starting, yeah. some people like myself, you know, I have been doing this for a long time, but I want to give it a different depth. And, um, you know, being able to do that on stage, but also being able to do that online is a different skill set that's required. So I want to refine my own, but also would yeah. like to share that with my you demons out there as as well and I've been seeing that there's a few familiar faces joining so I will definitely share with you the PDF guys so please keep making yeah, yourselves absolutely. Um, uh, known on the chat say hi say where you're joining from if you have any questions for Marjean while we have her here and then of course um, you know she won't go away she you can connect with her on LinkedIn on Facebook but also on Instagram and TikTok mm -hmm. and Twitter as well no, <laughs> not TikTok I don't do the TikTok thing yet <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm kind of old school, so I'm like, geez, I'm a TikTok like, virgin to, myself. <laughs> oh my God, trying to keep up with all these new platforms, I'm like, look, like it's going to be a post over here, and then if I can share it through that post to the others, that's what's going to happen because I, yeah, exactly. you know, so I was like, oh, you got to make TikTok videos. I'm like, yeah, no, <laughs> not yet, not yet, not yet, Come on. Come on. Not yet oh, you know. My <sighs> daughter just pushed me into Snapchat because she got tired of text messaging me. I, I feel so what does her. she do on Snapchat? <laughs> she text messages me. What? I was like, well, you like, know. really? Okay. I'm there. But so now I get to send her funny pictures. So anyways. Um, yes. Yeah, so hi, Pops. I wasn't ignoring you. I did see you there. Beso, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. I appreciate that comment. I appreciate that so, so much. Um, Everyone. Oh, somebody's and there from Adriana Francisco. there. Ah. <laughs> and a Christina and Willie. Hi, Willie. I know. I'm very shy. Eleanor. <laughs> you guys might not still be there, but hello. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, thank you all so much for joining us. Cool. Hello all from right. Green. So I will follow up. Hi, everyone who has awesome. joined Adriana we can perhaps uh, get uh, Marjean to share with us uh, later on because I'm shy now. So <laughs> She's shy. Oh, should we put her on the spot? Here's one of those. Here's one. <laughs> Here is a great speaker um, practice because, mm. yeah, coach as well. So she's definitely mm -hmm. putting me on the spot to empower yes, me. We'll put on. Martin, what do you believe are Christina's top strengths oh, as gosh. a speaker? Love to hear from you. Okay, so here's one of the things that when you when you ask a question like that, I'm going to revert this back to Christina first. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the, the this is part of the process. Okay, so Christina, what do you feel are some of your greatest strengths as a speaker? Ooh. I am definitely a storyteller. Mm -hmm. um, when I do have a story, I love to share it. Um, I do believe that I listen. Um, I definitely listen, and I didn't know that was a. Um, super power uh, in terms of speaking and presenting and I definitely have been on the wrong side shall we say when uh, especially early in my career as a speaker I thought I had to know what I'm going to say I needed to have a script and I needed to just deliver on that script no matter what so definitely I have learned down the line that being present as you mentioned and being able to um feel where the audience is and just deliver what they want to hear and where they are and meet them there is an important one I don't claim I have you know mastered it but definitely on my way there um and um I believe that um I don't know maybe a third one I feel like there is a third one but I can't quite put my finger on it <laughs> it will come to me I will share later yeah so, so one of the things that I can, um, I will share with you all about working with Christina is that she's, when we started working on coaching some spiritual aspects, right? She always, she would always say to me, I'm so new to this. I'm so new to this. I'm so new to this. Right. But one of the things that really stands out to me about Christina is that 
She's like, I don't understand what this is, but I'm going to verbalize it anyways, because it's because she's got this ability to take information in, stay in a space of being curious about the information mm -hmm. and then speaking the information out and allowing herself time to let that information land, to let that information evolve, let that information present whether it's the lesson that needs to be learned or the information that she can take and give back out, right? So it's been this really beautiful journey to have her, to ask her questions like that. And she'll sit and she'll listen to what's happening internally for her. Mm -hmm. And then she'll verbalize it. And that is a very, very powerful place to be because when you're working with others, like you said, that listening is going to be a key in setting you apart from every other speaker, every other trainer, every other presenter. Mm -hmm. That is key. Well, I definitely didn't know that. And thanks to Adriana, we figured mm -hmm. out that this is a thing to have. So thank you so much, Adriana, for your question. As a beautiful yeah. coach you are too. Adriana is such a um, caring, kind. Um, mm. so he's also Greek-Japanese, so we are Japanese oh, beautiful. soul sisters. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's um, it's a joy to have her here with us today. And um, Kalfa is her uh, Greek surname, and Ubunuki is her Japanese uh, surname. Um, and we have a similar name in Japanese as well. Our mothers have named us uh, the same uh, name. Um, but I didn't know that. And um, you are absolutely right. I am sitting with my nervousness most of the time, and I am okay with it. And I think Andriana and the audience will resonate with. Uh, the Zen concept uh, called Shoshin, which is mm -hmm. beginner's mind. It's being able yeah. to always be in a place as a newbie and be as a student and be able to open up ourselves to learn, even if we've been there many, many times before. And it takes presence and mm -hmm. it takes listening and it takes being okay yeah. with making a mistake as well. And um, as you've seen today, it took some time for the stream to sort itself out uh, with connection, but you know, everyone supported and was very, very yeah. helpful to, to help us get through to the end. So um, yeah. thank you, Adriana, and thank you, Marjean, for uh, being on the spot. <laughs> and still, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reveal more aspects of, uh, of my speaking uh, through the course, whoever joins us. I'm going to be on the course as well. Marjean will be leading it. Um, and say hello on the chat so that I am able to share Marjean's top 10 hacks to becoming a compelling and captivating speaker. And um, yeah. of course, um, you know, if you've got any questions regarding the course that's starting in mid-September, or we can be flexible with dates, yeah, Marjean, yes. so let's figure yeah. it out, um, you know, let me know. Um, and then, of course, I will uh, channel through any questions to Marjean if I'm not sure how to help you or answer. But um, thank you so much, Marjean, for being you here, so connecting welcome. with us from the other side of the mm -hmm. world, the other side of the world. Um, and I know it's everyone's Sunday, and thank you for supporting yes, us. Thank for you. And channels. Um, Marjean, you have been sensational. Um, people thank enjoyed you. your story, your background, the way you um, succinctly distilled your experiences and what you do on stage and what you bring to me, um, you know, as a, as a student of yours and as a partner of yours, um, you know, in this. And, um, you know, the audience's positive energy and support uh, throughout some of our hiccups here uh, as we were doing yes. this first time thank you everyone we will complete and conclude this live um but i will share if you've got any questions let me know of course i will share everything that we promised in the next few minutes um or hours um throughout all the channels. thank you thank you thank you all thank you thank marcus you. thank you Beso. thank you thank you thank you everybody have an amazing oh. sunday and we will see you all from the page to the stage for speakers program yes bye-bye